the question is what is the remainder when x is divided by 4 statement 1 x is odd so x can be of the form 4k plus 1 or 4k plus 3 these two cases cover all the odd numbers now if x is of the form 4k plus 1 such as 5 9 13 onwards the remainder is 1 and if x is of the form 4k plus 3 so 3 7 11 15 onwards the remainder is 3 so two answers are possible 1 and 3 statement 1 is not sufficient look at statement 2 now x is square of a prime number greater than 3 a prime number greater than 3 is going to be an odd number so once again such a number has to be one of these two forms 4k plus 1 or 4k plus 3 so x would be 4k plus 1 square that means or 4k plus 3 square in such a case the value is 16k square plus 8k plus 1 in this case the value is 16k square plus 24k plus 9 so see when we divide x by 4 whether this is the case or this is the case we see that these two parts they will be absolutely divided the remainder is only in these numbers 1 and 9 and in each case the remainder is 1 only so statement 2 suggests that the remainder is 1 statement 2 alone is sufficient the answer is option b in case you are not able to think about all of this under time pressure on the GMAT, it is best to just take lots of examples. So using statement 1, take examples, x is an odd number, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Take good 4, 5 examples, you will see that 1 is leaving remainder 1, 3 is leaving remainder 3. There are two possible answers and therefore this is not sufficient for 2. Once again, take examples, square of a prime number greater than 3, so 5 square 25, 7 square 49, 11 square 121, 13 square 169. And when you see that in each case, the value is 1, even if you don't understand the math beyond it, which I just explained, you can very well conclude that the answer is going to be 1 only. And therefore, statement 2 is leading to a unique answer. The right answer is B.